Why would Jesus be cursed? Why? As far as I, my reading of the Bible, I've never come across anywhere, personally, from reading scripture that says Jesus is cursed. Personally, I've not okay. read that scripture. It's in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Yes? No, no, look it up now. You got the Bible right there. Look it up now. Yeah. Curse to mankind, yeah? Yeah, so he became a curse, yes. Mankind. Whoever. Your God then, became... Then I'm gonna I wonder who... I, wa I'm gonna I wonder who cursed him. Then I'm going to show you something that you say you believe in certain parts of the Bible. I'm going to show you something that predicts 500 years past to the end of time that anybody... By, by the way, if I quote the Bible to you, it doesn't mean I have to believe it, do I? All right, so why by the way, as Muslims, we love Jesus. No, you you, the, pick the, you pick the bits you like and you agree with No, no, I pick the bits that, the, that you like. You like the whole Bible. So I can pick anything from the Bible. Yeah. Oh, he's marked it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you said you haven't come across no, it. No, listen. Listen, the point I was trying to make was, if you give me a chance, yeah, he sure. says to me, is Jesus cursed, yeah? I thought even does it say, for example, directly, Jesus is cursed. He doesn't say that. He specifically says, yes. cursed is everyone with his hand on the tree. What's the words before that? Listen, by becoming Christ cursed, redeemed us, so he saved us, yeah? All right. From the curse of the Lord, because we're all cursed under okay, the Lord. Okay, then? By be he became a curse. He became a curse. Listen, Isn't for, that what I said? Listen, for us... I mean, of course for you, not yeah. for us. We don't believe Jesus is cursed. You believe that. Okay, no. We love Jesus. We don't believe he's right. cursed at all. Let me tell you, so you know, in, by, by the way, Mike, do you know in the Quran who's cursed? No. Guess who's cursed in the Quran? <laughs> the shaitan. Right. The devil. In the Wait. Bible, who's cursed? Right. Jesus. Jesus. Can I now you tell me which, no, which book is from the Bible. You've spoken a lot. You still haven't let me ask you one question yet. Uh, this is the only ask. question. Now I'm going to make it perfectly clear. Yeah. I normally would never quote this piece of scripture because I do not want to offend Islam or any other faith. But you're Let making me, an exception. No, yeah? no, no, I'm not okay. making an exception. Uh, no, I'm gonna, exception. We're talking, I said, I said, no, no, he's talking okay. about curses now, right? Yeah. That's why I'm bringing it up. He's brought up the word curse. Okay, go on. Go in on. the Bible, in the same book, Galatians. Yeah. Now he's reading the Galatians. He's asking me, is Jesus cursed? I said, yes, for all of us, yes? Yeah. That's what according my to your Bible, yeah, according That's to your Bible. According to the Bible. But you don't have to believe. Let me finish. Let me finish. We, 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 we don't have to believe. In the no, same five, book, five Galatians, yeah. highlighted again, 500 years before Muhammad had the revelation from Gabriel, okay? This is what people were told to be wary of in the future. After Jesus. Yeah. By the way, Galatians by Paul. Let me read. Let me read. It's not from Gabriel. <laughs> that even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. And we have said before, and I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be a curse. So you brought a curse into it, I'm giving you. Do you what is your point? No, do you believe that? But I've just read. No, no, hold on. What's your no, point? Do you believe that? Okay. The first and, first no, so why did you believe what was written earlier and you don't believe that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is that it? Hit and run. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to respond. First and foremost, remember what I told you earlier? That when I quote something, doesn't mean I need to believe it. So why quote Can I finish? Can I finish, I finish without you interrupting? I did not interrupt you. Okay? So when I when I read to you that Jesus is cursed in the Bible, do I as a Muslim need to believe it? Absolutely not. Do you know why? Because for us, your Bible is corrupted. So whether you believe it or not, that's your problem. Because for you, that is the word of God. That's the reason. That's the reason I quote it to you. Okay? So what I quote to you from the Bible, I don't need to believe it. Number one. Number two, I use the Quran as my criteria. So when you say the gospel, other than the gospel, who preached? Jesus? Have you, got a, have you got a gospel according to Jesus in there? Is there a gospel according to Jesus in your Bible? No, there isn't. There's a gospel according to Mark, according to Matthew, according to Luke, and according to John. But there is not a single gospel according to Jesus Christ. So guess who is cursed? Them.